Hello everybody, this is Mike from mboxwave.com and uh, I just got into a, a long position on this morning's uh, E-mini Dow Jones uh, contract and um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the analysis I saw um, you know where I put my uh, stop and you know profit levels for the time being and then you know we'll take it from there um, so I saw this, you know, Stooges right here, this Stooges buy signal, and, you know, that's where I got in, um, you know, when I saw that. But I wanted to show what led up to that and, um, you know, what makes this uh, look like a, you know, decent and strong setup. You know, first, um, you know, the market's opened right, right here, and, you know, we shot up really quickly here you know we went up um, quite a bit in only a few minutes and uh, so you know the first thing I noticed was this you know huge price markup basically and fast because it happened very quickly I mean that in itself is not what solidifies this setup uh, I want to talk about what I thought was um, you know uh, some of the other factors. So I saw this this blue line right here, right? And I want to show why I drew that line. So I'm going to zoom out. So this blue line right here indicates uh, the most amount of basically consecutive buying that occurred in the Mbox Delta right here in the previous day. Um, so this is where the most amount of buying occurred most amount of buying in mbox delta previous day all right and um, so I want to talk about this first so at this blue line that's where the most amount of consecutive buying in the mbox delta there was in the previous day so when the markets opened right I had this level drawn and I saw this, you know, huge, you know, spike in price, you know, this rally right here, accompanied with strong demand. Um, strong demand. And that it was approaching this previous level where there was a lot of buying, you know. Um, and what's interesting at this, at this level right here, I don't see any selling. In fact, I see a um, effort no result right here. Um, that's a lot of volume spent, and basically it achieved um, not much a result. So this was basically wasted effort. We had this, you know, we had this candle produce all this, but um, you know, at the same time you know the um, the wave delta is decreasing right here minus 47 23 23 so that looked like you know um, an attempt you know so that's why I put it as effort no result um, we saw a huge pace of offers uh, outpacing the bids by a lot color uh, well it's like that all right um, so we have that going and you know we also have accumulation here in the uh, cumulative delta you know this looks like we are accumulating compared to you know this uh, previous supply here this is beginning to look like accumulation Usually the, uh, oh darn it, that was again the wrong color, accumulation, oh boy, I guess we'll do this again. All right, so usually, you know, usually, I mean the Mbox Delta, so we saw really strong demand here, we're seeing again strong demand here, and it looks like you know, the cumulative delta is on the rise here. 
And that's what looks like uh, happening. And so after I saw this huge and fast price markup right here, I saw the strong demand, I saw the accumulation, I saw the huge pace of offers outpacing the bids, I saw the effort no result, which is a sign of basically, you know, there's no interest in lower prices, and then bam, we have the signal, okay? And the signal is the entry. So after we have overwhelming evidence, after we had the overwhelming evidence, um, we saw the signal. So, you know, what I like to tell people is to search for things with a lot of confluence, meaning things agreeing with each other. So basically, how many things do we have? We have the huge fast price markup, one. Strong demand here, that's two. Accumulation, that's three. Pace of the offers, that's four. Effort, no result, that's five. Uh, we have the three Stooges buy signal, that's six. And I guess I um, left out, but, you know, we have basically renewed demand. We have basically renewed demand at previous buying climax level. All right. So if we count all these things together, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. All right. So I got to keep track of uh, here and my take profit. Looks like we're demand is going very strongly. Um, previously, I, I, I put, you know, the take profit um, at this right here because um, right here, this blue line right here, because this was a previous level of resistance. I'm just going to go ahead and just move it up a little bit. It looks like price is coming up pretty quickly. So I want to make sure I do the analysis. OK, so we're reaching this orange line. This orange line was basically the selling climax for the previous day. You know, and I'll show that quickly here, right here. This was the most amount of selling in the Mbox Delta in the previous day. So this orange line is where the most amount of selling was, and this blue line was a previous resistance level. Uh, but so far, I am only seeing bullishness. You know, look at that you know, delta. We're expanding. We're getting uh, more demand here and here. So that's even more demand. So partially the reason I moved my take profit, and I got to calculate where I'm going to put that now, because if I exited here, that would not be hitting my target, my goal of at least $5,000. So, you know, I wanted to see what would happen with this trade, and it looks like it's very bullish. Um, so I'm just going to let it, let it go for now and, um, you know, readjust my profit a little later. Uh, so far, it looks very bullish. All right, so I'm going to put the record on pause and uh, come back in a little bit when we uh, see something more. Okay, so uh, we're back now, and um, I just got into another position right here. Uh, we had a buy imbalance, 77, which means there's more buying on this down wave than selling. Plus, we had the Stooges signal, you know, so um, that looked pretty good. So I added on a position and a Stooges buy signal. Not only we, I saw it in the wave demand, um, but I also saw it right here in the histogram. This is also a buy imbalance right here because it's above the zero line. See, it's a down box, but it's above the zero line. So this is also a buy imbalance in the inbox delta histogram. Okay, it looks like we're in decent shape. The cumulative delta right here is expanding. So, um, you know, buying is expanding. 
right here. And um, yeah, I gotta uh, watch carefully because I'm probably gonna exit after I uh, hit five grand. Um, I moved these stops out of the way, but uh, you know we blasted through this blue line, and it looks like there's some more left to squeeze. Um, I'm not sure. See right here, this blue line. I'm not sure after this how much there is more left to squeeze. Since you know I'm using that for guidance, maybe I could put it here, but. I think I'll just, uh, you know, after I hit over five grand, I'll exit. One of the things I wanted to uh, talk about before that happens is, you know, uh, notice all the accumulation that is happening. Like, you know, look at this uh, 140, 91. Uh, look at this, look at these 129, 115, 32. You know, if you add all this up, that's, that's quite a bit. Uh, you know, that's like almost or about over 500, um, or almost, you know. And then you look at, okay, we're $4,900 in profit. So I want to wait until it gets over five. So I exit with over five. Um, and then, you know, look at this right here. You know, we've got minus 100, 27, 43, you know, then minus 47, 23, 23. I mean, look at these numbers alone. You have the 140, 91. So this is accumulation happening here uh, in the wave delta before you could see it, you know, happening in the cumulative delta. So you know, you look at that 140. You know, the thing is, you know, you can say that this is effort, no result, the 140, but it you always have to prove it. You know, is it effort, no result, or is it accumulation? You know, and uh, how do we prove it? Um, well, you know, after price comes down, you see the minus 127, minus 43, we've got a higher low, and we're getting, uh, uh, you know, strong demand again, the, the price surges up, you know, we can conclude after we see that, that this in fact was accumulation, you know. So this set the uh, precedent for the further move to follow. Okay, so when we put that, it also adds uh, to our story. Uh, it also adds to the story, you know. So basically, this accumulation happened before we even saw the demand in the inbox delta or the um, huge pace of offers. It happened, you know, before the market, you know. So these these also add strength to the setup. Whereas here, you see that there's uh, basically a supply exhaustion. color having an issue with this today all right supply exhaustion and and also you know when we get okay we're over five grand I want to see how much we can maybe 5500 would be good when I see that okay we came down a little bit all right I'll wait some more and then when we get here you see 129 115 32 okay you may see, okay, 32 is less, but 23, 47 to minus 23, minus 23, we didn't get any more supply. So this, in fact, when you see the 32 here, doesn't imply weakness. Um, it's still more than this. You know, if you sum up these three numbers and these three numbers, this is like less than 100. You know, this is like 260, 270. You know, and that's like a reaccumulation. So this is like reaccumulation right here. This is reaccumulation. So when I saw the delta, right? So the delta tracks when you know there's consecutive uh, minimization of demand or supply. You know we had minus 47, 23, 23. So we got that. So everything was pointing towards a bullish setup. And um, now all we're doing is is waiting. I'll just pause the video and we'll see about exiting when I hit over five grand. I wanted like 5,500. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. All 
Okay, so I'm going to exit the trade now. I want to get on video. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> uh, $6,300 in profit. Um, all right, so, um, you know, I wanted to wait to squeeze something more out of it um, since, uh, you know, I saw this buy imbalance and the Stooges buy signal. But, you know, one thing interesting to notice here is we're making like higher highs, you know, um, the uh, cumulative delta is, you know, contracting. Here we have the buying is contracting. Contracting. All right, so, you know, it, it is a legitimate place to exit. I mean, we're still bullish, but it looks like, see these M box delta? You see all these boxes here, how strong they were, right? So I want people to, you know, understand this and, and see it. And, and now look here, you know, com you know, let me just draw this here. So, you know, compare this area here, the inbox delta in here. So the inbox delta, we're seeing a lot less, you know, uh, demand. And the cumulative delta is contracting. So it looked like a good place to exit, lock in profits, hit the goal for today. Of you know made sixty three hundred dollars, so I'm happy with that. Um, also, want to point out when we saw these numbers minus forty seven, minus twenty three, minus twenty three, this also shows no supply. All right, because it made a little bit of lower lows, but. There's no, you didn't, it's not renewing with supply. All right, so that's what all this that I drew up on the chart, I think, really um, draws up the entire analysis of what was going on and, you know, why this looked like a uh, good setup. So I'm done for, the day, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.